Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong is lumber or wood or whatever is this. And we have multiple different sizes and methods of crushing this. And this is weaver request. I have no idea why we haven't done this already. It's been like five and a half years of weekly videos and we haven't tried this one out. But today it's going to go. And the setup is pretty simple as usual. We have two steel blocks. We're going to place the wood between them, cross on the middle. And then here is our 240 ton force sensor that is going to measure the force that's been applied. And you can see it all the time at the top right corner. Okay, and the first piece of lumber that we are going to try is 2x4. It's spruce or Goose in Finnish. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, that was interesting. That was only 1.2 tons because when I tested the setup, the exactly same sized plank took 4 tons. So there seems to be quite a lot of like um, differences on piece of wood. Let's see if there's anything wrong with this one. I think we are going to try also with the third one to see how much it varies between the pieces. And the test piece that was able to do four tons had a knot on the middle. So this is pretty similar. So let's see if it makes it stronger. First I would thought that it's going to make it weaker, but maybe it's going to make it stronger. So let's see, the uh, first one didn't have the knot on the middle, but this has. Okay, this was uh, 2.8, so much closer to 4 tons. So seems that the knots are going to make the wood stronger, at least like on the specific point where it's going to be. That's interesting, I would never thought that. Let's see how it looks where it's... So it's like this. I think we have to next uh, test it like this, so it should be much stronger. Because now it's uh, twice as tall, so I think it's stronger on this direction. And again, we have not here, so should be quite strong. Okay, and I'm going to say that this is going to be strong. This is going to be eight tons. Okay, 3.7, that's weird. I, I think we have to try one more because it changes a lot. Three. 3.3, so I would say that they're not any stronger, at least on this scale and these like amounts, I think if you crust like 100 pieces each way you would figure out, but it's not a huge difference. And that's surprising. I have to say that I don't know anything about lumber. Everything is opposite that I thought. <laughs> okay, next test. Two, two by twos. Is it stronger or weaker than two by four? That's the question. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, that this is stronger. 
What is on Beaker, your... Beaker. Beaker. You really think so? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I don't have very strong guessing game today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a bold claim that one two by two is weaker than two. <laughs> if I get this wrong, then I don't know what's, what's going to happen. But I'm going to say that this is weaker. Oh. I think we have to do like mega crush. Let's put like four. Two by fours on top of each other and crush that. Okay, this looks like some kind of like karate chopping exercise <laughs> for the press. <laughs> but I think I think our big press can punch through all of the planks. tons per piece, so it seems that when you stack them up, it's going to like just add everything up. And you would thought that it's going to like be stronger than some of its parts, but no. Hey, but luckily I have one 4x4, four four, so that's like two 2x4s two combined together. So if that's about four tons, then they don't stack up, but if it's way more, then they stack up when it's like thicker. So let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. No choke at all. 6.7. So I would say that it seems to be much stronger when you just have bigger piece than combining a lot of small ones. Of course, anything you have seen today is not scientific at any way, <laughs> but uh, at least it was like uh, we got some surprising results and we had fun and that's the most important thing. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this wood eating worm. It can eat holes into your wooden cabin, so we have to deal with it.